Lyndon Arthur is back, ready to stake a claim for a shot at world glory when he takes on Argentina's Walter Gabriel Shekiera. Part of a huge night of action on Saturday, September the 17th. It's live and free on Channel 5. Razbani for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast with me. We've got the British champ himself, Gavin Green. Gavin, how are we doing, mate? Yeah, good. To, good now. Even better. I've just weighed in, but had some fluid, so yeah, good to go now. It was quite an intense stare off, both of you, eye to eye contact. Obviously, respect it, but yeah. what did you make of that weighing? Um, I think it's because we've obviously sparred together. It's just a probably bit of needle in it. Do you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't take nothing from it. Do you know what I mean? I don't take no. I know you've had a bit of back and forth from Twitter recently as well. Is that, is that just fight mode? Is that banter? Is that because you're both from Wales and it's just building up nicely? Yeah, that's what it is. It's just building a fight up. Do you know what I mean? For the fans as well. It's the, it's the fans building the fight up. It's not me and Craig. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's the fans. There always is. Like, but uh, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good to watch. Like, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's been great watching the everyone's comments and things like that on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. They're all on their input. Like. What do you make of Craig as a fighter? I know he's had a couple of losses, but this is his opportunity. This is an opportunity that he may not get again to win the British title. Um, so he'll be up for it. But what do you make of him as a fighter? Yeah, he's a decent fighter. Like he, his losses has has um, only come from decent opponents. Like Craig's pretty much like myself. He goes on the road. He fights. He don't care who he fights, um, and that's where them losses come. So I know I'm in for a tough night tomorrow. But I know I I've, I've been in. Um, I've been in a harder fight and come out on top, so I know what, what it takes to to um, get a win tomorrow night. What were the sparring sessions like? Yeah, decent. I'm not going to say on camera what what happened in them sparring sessions. I'm not that type of guy. I did knock him down. No, <laughs> I'm not that type of guy. I would never say anything what happened in sparring because you're helping each other out. So. But they were good spars, and um, I, kn I know it's going to be a fantastic fight tomorrow night because if anything for the spars to go by, yeah. Do you feel like, though, that you are levels above him? Do you, do you feel like you've got more to accomplish now after, you, uh, if you win on Saturday night, you beat him, you, you've got levels above to, to go and capture? Yeah, definitely. And when I win on Saturday night, no, um, I'm, I'm only looking for them big fights. So. Craig is just in my way at the moment. He's in my way and he's stopping me from getting to them big fights. And um, yeah, I just got to get a win on Saturday night and uh, them big fights are going to come now. I know you're not getting any younger, but um, yeah. and, and you want to move fast as well. I know yeah. I know you want to move fast, but you get this one out of the way. I know this is the second one of the year. Yeah. Uh, squeeze another one in. Yeah, hopefully December, Cardiff. I'd love to be on the Anthony Joshua undercard of Tyson Fury. <laughs> Wouldn't everybody like to be yeah. on that undercard? Yeah, so being a Welshman as well, that, that'd be brilliant. But all my focus now is um, tomorrow night getting the win. And then uh, we, look, we look forward to December then, maybe. How does the fight end? A win. Me. Win. As I always say, I just it's, it's me. Win. My hand being lifted up at the end, that's, that's all it is. By any means necessary. That's it. I, I'll do anything to win. Do you know what I mean? I will do anything to win. I'll put my, put my body on the line to win and I'll come out victorious. Well, Gavin, I wish you all the best uh, on Saturday night. Just before I let you go, obviously, just want to get your thoughts. A couple of big fights coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, the big one in probably British history uh, will be up there with pay-per-view numbers. Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, and, and Conor Ben. Everyone I speak to is split on that. I know it's a catch weight. And there's a rehydration clause, but uh, what do you think? I, I love Conor Ben. Um, the size of his balls to fight him. Like, he, he don't care, does he? Isn't it? Is, he's a proper fighting man. Like, but... I just think that size advantage and, and um, Chris has boxed at a, a lot higher level and a lot higher weight and he's never even been hurt so I can't see Connor um, knocking him out so I've got to push towards um, Eubank Jr. I know we spoke off camera about food and about rehydrating. Yeah. You know, you can go and eat what you want. You can add yeah. on as much weight yeah. as you want from now. But yeah. obviously, with Chris, it will be limited. Uh, rumours are between nine or ten pounds. He can add on as max. So do you think that will have an effect? He's going to struggle to do that. Like um, fighters who box at championship weights, they put on ten pound in the first 
six, seven hours, so he's going to really struggle, and that's like three or four pound lighter than his average weight when he normally weighs in. So it's going to stick to him like glue as well. So unless his, he can pay a big massive fine, he's going to have to, and he looks like. You mentioned that you want to be on the date December 3rd. That's the date touted for Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. Um, there's, everyone seems respectful right now, you know. There's, there's, no, uh, there's no arguments, there's no Twitter yeah. beef. Everyone yeah. feels like this fight is the one to make next. Do um, you think it happens? Hopefully it happens. It's probably the biggest heavyweight boxing fight in, in Britain ever. Do you know what I mean? So it needs to happen. And for British boxing, it'd be amazing for him to get it on and um, Anthony Joshua like I know he would take that fight he'd take that fight all day long to, wouldn't he 60-40 and I just hope he does now Gavin we wish you all the best on Saturday night go rest recover put some food in your body and I'm yeah. sure I'll be catching up with you uh, after the fight on Saturday yeah, definitely 100% winner <laughs> <laughs> Gavin Gwynn IFL TV thank you very much Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.